friends we will be discussing today missing number problem which is under lead code and it is marked as easy and it is also asked in many companies before starting if you are new to this channel and you are watching this video first time please don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell icon problem description first so it says given an array containing n distinct numbers taken from 0 till n Right. Find the one that is missing from the array. So let's see the example first. Here, three, zero, one are given, right? So here, from this, we can conclude that n is three, right? And n distinct from these, from zero to three. Okay, zero, one, two, and three. That should be the actual numbers and from that they have given this input if we match both these arrays you can see clearly 2 is missing from here All right so first approach that should come in your mind should be we will first create a new array right and we will fill all those 0 1 2 and 3 and try to iterate this array right and see if if every element is in this array or not as soon as we find if it is not there that will be the missing number from the array right but in this approach we'll take big of n square right because for every element we will check all those elements so if we say this is 0 1 and 2 so for 0th we will check here 0 1 2 3 so it will match for 0 0 it will match at first only and for 1 it will match here only right so as soon as it will match uh, here we will maybe take a flag or something so that for this element the flag will not be set right so this approach will still take big of n square right or we can also do one thing we can store all these into one has set right we will create one set and we will dump all these things into one set and when we trade our actual input array we will try to match if that if that element is already into that has set or not right and if it is if the uh, if that element if we cover all those elements and whatever is left it that will be our answer so in that case our time complexity will be big of n but our space complexity will also be big of n but what we are achieving here is time complexity big of n and space complexity big of 1 how we can reduce this extra has set if we try to sum it up 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 what it will be that will give us 6 and if we do 0 plus 1 plus 3 will that will give us 4 and if we try to see the difference it will be 2 right which is our missing number whatever n is given to us if we try to do n into n plus 1 by 2 this is the sum of n natural numbers and we just do the sum of whatever input array which which is given to us we will do s n minus sum it will be our answer so till now we have discussed these three approaches first one is using a brute force approach which was taking big of n square time the second approach we discussed which was using some extra space like taking the hash table and the third which was some of the n natural number formula now one more approach is there which is using xor okay using bitwise and n is three we will first take 3 and we will do XOR of 3 to this first element 
and its index which is 0 okay now again do XOR of 0 and this index all right so using XOR the similar elements will get cancelled out okay so 3 and 3 will cancel out 0 and 0 will cancel out 1 and 1 will cancel out and this will return 2 which is our answer and we will try to see the last two approaches into the code let's jump into the code using the third approach which is the sum of n natural numbers so we have taken array length into one variable now the expected sum will be n into n plus 1 by 2 this will calculate the expected sum and for the actual sum we have to iterate our array and we have to add all element into this variable and at the end we will just subtract expected with the actual sum so yes you can see now we will see the second approach yeah so using xor again we have taken one variable and we have initialized with the nums length now here we have taken xor as a variable and first we have initialized it with nums of length which is n here we were doing right this one and when we are iterating our array what we are doing we are doing nums of i xor index and we are also updating our xor variable at the end of this loop our xor variable will only contain the missing number let's try to submit this code now friends that's it friends for today please let me know which approach you like the most we will provide both the approaches code into the into our github repository you can check it out i will provide the link into the description so that's it friends for today